What up, Transformer fans? This is Sean Long of LongshotDreams.com bringing another Transformers Reveal the Shield review. This one my Transformers Reveal the Shield Balance Space 2 pack of Rodimus and Cyclonus. Target exclusive. Here we got the awesome packaging of the uh, Balance Space 2 pack. Rodimus here. They're both uh, repaints of their classics or uh, Universe 2.0, whatever. And it includes um, IDW uh, comic, a uh, special one made just for the set of Rodimus versus Cyclonus. See, Rodimus here. Would prefer Hot Rod, but I know they can't use the name, so I'll, I'll, I don't mind it. It says Reveal the Shield, Balance Space, Cyclonus right there. Love it. Has a worn label. Uh, yeah, don't choke on your Rodimus. Uh, that sounds so bad. And uh, level three, it's intermediate level. See her on the side says Deluxe Class Battle in Space with Septicon and uh, stats of Cyclonus on one side and Rodimus on the other. Very cool. In the back, you get a little bio about their little rivalry, which would make more sense if they had uh, Galvatron, but. He's a really crappy figure compared to Cyclonus, so I don't mind. It also includes Autobot Matrix of Leadership, which is very cool. And even uh, has a nightstick, uh, his little uh, target master, so I, I think it's cool. They can call, uh, call him a mini-con, but uh, I'll let it slide for now. It's a hypersonic fighter mode for Cyclonus and race car mode for Rodimus. Very cool, wish he had his flames, but I'll get more into that. Well, we may not be in space, but let's let them battle. So let's open up Cyclonus and Rodimus. All right, let's start with Rodimus in vehicle mode. Now, compared to the classics Rodimus, as you can see here, um, Definitely, he's a little brighter red. The big uh, noticeable difference, blue painted windshields versus the translucent. Some people like painted windshields, some people don't. To me, it doesn't look too bad, but I do prefer translucent windshields. It's just cool, especially because this one looks like he has um, seats and he has a little uh, steering wheel, which you won't see here. I do like the silver um, engine compared to this one. It's a little brighter. It has also big noticeable differences. The uh, rep symbol is in the front, where it should be, compared to the top right here. Also, the uh, it's more of a yellowish gold, uh, like uh, a spoiler, versus the orangey one. And of course, the big difference, the flames here, no flames. So, you can get repro labels to fix that, but that's it. Uh, and of course, you can still do the whole thing where you flip that over, make uh, the little blue uh, flame here um, shoot out. Cyclonus, um, definitely a big difference with um, this one is more of a lighter purple where the darker purple is just like the Henkai one pretty much. Um, uh, they both still have the translucent uh, windshields, which is really weird because the Septicons really don't have people in there, especially a futuristic hypersonic um, Genesis this is called. Also notice the little purples aren't right there compared to this one. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really cool because, uh, you know, the noticeable differences here. You'll see more in robot mode, but, yeah, just like, um, we still have the silver here, and the rib symbol is still um, in the same place where the Septicon symbol is here. Just like the uh, Universe one, you can still put a uh, nightstick right here and place on here as a really cool, like, little double cannon thingy. So it's, it's still cool that you can still do that. Hey, Cyclonus, you call yourself a hypersonic jet? Well, let me show you hypersonic. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sonic the Hedgehog here. Whoa, you guys are Transformers. That's really cool. I'm a hedgehog. A really fast hedgehog. I like chili dogs. You guys want some chili dogs? Can you even eat chili dogs since I'm... Wow, if I wanted to talk to a fast-talking blue guy, i talk to Blur. Now, robot mode Rodimus looks really cool. I love that the uh, rib symbol is now on the front of the chest instead of the back because that was one thing I was missing um, in robot mode, which, uh, uh, so you can see here, i do a comparison, that the reds, um, this is definitely a more orangey, lighter red than... Um, the classics for Rodimus. You can see here that the flames, it's its very subtle um, with the yellows and the more gold compared to the red and the gold right here with no black lines to outline it. Uh, you can see here even uh, this is more of a, um, a gray charcoal color compared to the black and yeah you can see here that little subtle differences like there's no red right there and um, just the wheels look pretty good. I mean Still has the silver for the the pipes, which is very cool. One of the big differences, of course, no flames, as you can see here. That's a uh, oh sad. Oh, also for his gun, it's a, 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 a 
almost all spark blue flame compared to the translucent purple and it just with the windshield which I show there so you can see here um, also it's more of a gold color compared to the orange so and and this uh, classics Artemis had light piping whereas this one just you simply paint his eyes which it's not too bad and also you can see the subtleties on his face more gold on the classics whereas this one has more of a white on his uh, little forehead thingy so just little differences right there besides this little blue flame that shoots out he still has his little buzzsaw thing that comes out there it uh it's pretty cool if you want the repro labels to get the flames you can get those from reprolabels.com and so it's not that bad i mostly got this to use for my protector armor which is this uh rodimus is perfect for so i can keep my classic rodimus or uh classics hot rod as hot rod now the cyclonus is definitely more in his hentai colors which i like so if you don't want to spend if you want to spend the same amount on two figures instead of one get this two pack uh his uh rope symbol really looks great compared to just the painted silver one with which I like that one too, but yeah, the light piping you can tell looks really great. It works so good. Noticeable differences is that um, that more um, raspberry brown color isn't shown here on the tips of the wings here. It's just all purple. Um, it's also a lighter purple um, gray compared to the gray right here. He also has this little um, uh, color right here, this uh, little raspberry type uh a translucent color right there compared to this also you can see the knee pads this is just purple compared to uh the the raspberry type color and um yeah it still has that translucent color right there i really like it because you can make one cyclonus and his armada calculation uh Rodimus's head can fully rotate arms fully rotate but they get tricky because of how they uh, are but uh, they can go in and out bend at the elbow wrists can go in and out do the transformation no waist articulation but legs can go forward back in and out they also go in and out this way because of the transformation they rotate at the upper part of the knee or at the knee and then bend at the knee and his feet pivot forward and back for articulation for cyclonus his head also fully rotates arms uh, do fully rotate they also go in and out bend at the elbow rotate at the uh, elbow right here his um, wrists also go in and out, no waist articulation also, legs go forward and back, in and out, rotate the upper part of the leg, bend at the knee, and his feet uh, pivot uh, forward and back a little bit. Nightstick has noticeable differences. His legs now are more of a very glossy silver color as well as the uh, uh, gun part with a black tip. Um, he's also black uh, in the arms and upper body, whereas this one is more of a dark purple mixed with black. So very uh, so, uh, big differences in nightstick. Also of course in this right hand nightstick in his gun mode will fit very nicely in Cyclonus's hand. You know, it looks very badass. I love it. Now the balance based uh, two pack comes with an exclusive comic book written by Simon Furman and art by Boo. It's made by IDW. Rodimus vs. Cyclonus, and it's a really cool comic book. I really love that Hasbro took the extra step to make an exclusive comic book just for this. I mean, listen, Mattel, can't your two packs, especially ones that are based in old comics, come with a comic, a real comic? I mean, this is just awesome that Hasbro did this, and the art is just spectacular, and the story is really cool. Also comes with the instructions, of course, of how to transform Rodimus and Cyclonus. The coolest accessory has to be this little mini matrix of leadership, which has two little holes, which I used one of the little rope ties that came with it. Uh, you can put it right over uh, Rodimus here, which is very cool. I love that it's real die cast metal. And if you get his arms just right, you can make it seem like he's opening it. It doesn't play the touch, unfortunately, <laughs> or have any paint. But maybe when it's time to light your darkest hour, maybe uh, Stan Bush's Power Ballad will come out. I am Cyclonus, and you are my armada. No, I'm Cyclonus, and you are my armada. Well, are you Skywarp or Bombshell? I think I'm Skywarp. No, I'm Skywarp. You're bombshell how do you know watch the movie it doesn't even tell all we know is that you guys are dead size comparison time so here you can see that these are the same molds as the classic Seronimus and um universe cyclonus so comparing them would be redundant but compared to like um to, to each other cyclonus is definitely taller which uh would make sense unless of course it was a uh, rodimus prime but uh compared to other figures um Cyclonus is about the same size as a DCUC or um, a six inch Iron Man figure, so he's in the same scale as those figures. But with Rodimus, he's a little bit shorter, so you can see here only goes to 
Iron Man's chest as well as uh, Hal Jordan's chest. Now I have to say for 20 bucks, this is probably one of the best two packs you can get. I mean, not only do you get two of the best universe classics figures that have come out, you get a die cast matrix, um, both of their accessories, and uh, an exclusive comic made by IDW. I mean, Hasbro has really given us a great set here. If you're able to find it at Target, you're very lucky definitely grab this, because even if you own both of these figures like a lot of us do, it's cool to have another Cyclonus to make him and his Armada. And if you got the Protector Armor like I do, you can use one for the uh, Rodimus Prime and then one as a Hot Rod figure, which is just brilliant. So I, I definitely think, even though these are repainted figures, just with the die-cast matrix, um, the uh, comic, and the fact that you get these figures for 10 bucks each compared to having to go on eBay and pay more, I think it's uh, one of the best two packs that Hasbro's given us, even for repainted figures. So. Hope you guys enjoy my reviews. Stay tuned for more Transformer reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long saying until next time. I'm Batman. And I'm Iron Man. Whether you're a Marvel or you're a DC, there's one thing we have in common. We have alter egos. And both of us shop at Alter Ego Comics. From hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more. They take pre-orders and PayPal, and they know how to be a superhero. Okay, Batman, we'll go shop at Alter Ego Comics, then drinks are on me. Why you wanna drink me? Well, Batman, you need a donut and a cough drop. Shut up, Stark. You got the touch! Autumnus, you think an 80s power ballad will save you? You are a dumb ass. Thank you, Rodimus. Now I am the true Cyclonus. You're not as cool as Optimus Prime, but you are awesome for this. Arise, Rodimus Prime.